Glenn Hughes is literally incapable of making bad music. What's up guys, I'm Joe. Today I'm talking about the new Black Country Communion album, BCC4. Black Country Communion is a hard rock supergroup consisting of some of the best players in the game. You have Glenn Hughes on bass and vocals, known for his work back in the 70s with his band Trapeze, as well as Deep Purple, you know, rock legends. Glenn Hughes and David Coverdale joined that band when Ian Gillen left, and really came out with a couple fantastic records that are often overlooked. Uh, when you think about classic rock or, you know, just Deep Purple in general. You typically think of the Ian Gillen era, which of course is just phenomenal. But you know, the albums Burn, Stormbringer, stuff like that, stuff definitely not to overlook. Glenn Hughes is a great songwriter and a fantastic singer and bass player. Uh, Joe Bonamassa on lead guitar for Black Country Communion. Just a huge, huge blues player. One of the best out there right now. Extremely technically proficient player. If you just go listen to some of his solos and stuff like that, it's really insane. Jason Bonham on drums, son of John Bonham. And of course you have Derek Sherinian, uh, formerly of Dream Theater, a million other things, just like the rest of these guys. Um, you know, on the keyboards and the piano. So the band had three albums, you know, the first two which I thought were truly phenomenal, the third one which I thought was pretty good. Uh, there was a lot of tension in the band at the time of that release, and you could definitely hear it on there. Uh, I believe they recorded and wrote all separately. It wasn't really a collaborative effort, and you could definitely hear that on the album. You know, but here we are years later, Joan Bonamassa calls up Glenn Hughes, and he says, you know what, let's do this again. And, you know, they just got together and they wrote and they recorded. And you could just feel the energy coming out of these songs, and you could just feel that they're having such a great time with this. The songs just hit so hard. Such great riffs overall. Fantastic solos from Bonamassa. I feel like he really gets to shine in, you know, this version of the band, this reformed version of the band. There are these grand, epic seven or eight minute tracks. There's quite a few of them. But, I mean, there's not an ounce of filler on here. Opening track, Collide, just, you know, hits you right in the face, basically. It has a Zeppelin kind of grooves, a Zeppelin kind of riff to it. Glenn Hughes' voice is just soaring in this chorus, as he does so well. I mean, the man, his voice has not aged even a little bit. And by the way, I wanted to add before, in between the third Black Country album and this one, you know, Glenn Hughes and Jason Bonham went on to do this band, California Breed. This is very short-lived, but I absolutely love that album. Moving on, Over My Head has this nice kind of stomping groove to it. You know, just a very, like, in-the-pocket kind of groove. You know, but then, like, an extremely catchy chorus, and, you know, the chord structure is kind of strange in the chorus. It's not something you think is going to happen next, but overall it just works very well. Third track, the last song from my resting place, is definitely my favorite track on here. Probably one of the best tracks this band has done. Bonamassa takes lead vocals on here, which he's done a couple times within the band. As a vocalist, I always thought he was just kind of eh, I never, was never really that into his voice, you know, in his solo work or with the songs he had done with this band. But, you know, here he just shines as a vocalist and a guitar player. The song is this sort of epic tale of, you know, the band on the Titanic going down with the ship, and they just play everyone out as they're trying to escape and get off the ship, you know, knowing that they're ultimately, this is the last song they're playing, it is leading to their death. Cool kind of epic story going on here, and the music is just fantastic, and just you know, complements the lyrics very well. It's a lot of added instrumentation. There's acoustic guitars, and I believe there's a fiddle player on here. You know, all sorts of strings and stuff like that. The song has a sort of Celtic kind of feel to it at times, but also just hitting you with heavy guitars and stuff like that. There's a fantastic solo from Joe Bonamassa on here. Overall, just, I can't say enough about this one. There's a bunch of other rockers on here, such as Sway, which has a nice heavy riff, but I like the way it sort of adds the keyboards that are doing the sort of orchestrated type sound to it. You have The Crow, which has this heavy riff to it. Uh, it really makes me think of Bulls on Parade by Rage Against the Machine, which is kind of unexpected. So nice heavy attack there. But as the song goes on, it full on reminds me of Glenn's uh, Deep Purple days. Something you would hear off of the Burn album or something like that. Bass solos, the keyboard solos, you know, much like Deep Purple. And then the guitar solos overall. It just sounds like they're having so much fun jamming on this one. You could really feel the energy flying off of this track. Which is very similar with the song Love Remains. It has, you know, once again, a very groovy riff to it, much in the vein of something like Led Zeppelin. Uh, this one even kind of reminds me of Trampled Underfoot, the way the groove is hitting and the way the riff kind of like, accents that. And you have a couple more of those sort of sprawling epics, much like the third track. 
Um, you have the Cove, which is very bluesy in nature. Just a fantastic performance from Glenn Hughes, as always. But once again, Bonham also really gets to shine on here with his guitar work. As a blues player, this is really his area of expertise. You know, not to say that his soloing is, isn't just as amazing in all the other songs. He's also a very good classic rock sounding guitarist. But in this sort of slower, bluesier song, he really gets to shine. Wanderlust is a, another favorite of mine on here. It just has a nicer drive to it. I like how Derek is full on just playing piano on this one, you know, not going into that kind of um, electric sounding keyboards and stuff like that, much, you know, deep purple like sound. He just goes straight up piano here and it really has a nice you know sort of character to this song. Awake has a very sort of weird almost surf rock vibe as far as the guitar is going in the beginning there but ultimately something that just totally got stuck in my head. Uh, definitely a cool song something different on here. And finally you have When the Morning Comes which closes out this album in a very epic fashion which is you know just very deserving of how this album has flowed as a whole. Again another sort of slow burner that builds up and up and up until a very explosive bridge section and just a huge outro as far as Glenn's vocals go and just you know the band firing on all cylinders. The ending of the song is just so uplifting. Uh, you know, Glenn's voice is soaring, the chords with the keyboards and the guitars and everything. The progression is just so powerful. Again, just the way it all comes together and kind of speeds up at the end there. It's just a huge way to end this one. So overall, obviously, an, an album that I am loving. Because um, I think I also didn't really expect this to be as great, you know. They've been away for quite a while. They've all been doing their own thing like they normally would, but... You know, that last album was pretty much just okay, not bad by any means, but nothing as special as this one is. This sounds like a very cohesive record. I love their first two at records, but I mean, this one might honestly be my favorite. We'll see, you know, if time will tell, but there's a cohesion to it. They feel like they have found their groove as a band. I mean, because these are just four people that have played in so many different bands, have done so many different things. They all have their own kind of unique identity. I feel like on this one, they've really just come together as a full band. You could definitely hear the collaboration and hear how much fun they're having with the music and how much passion they have for it. Just, you know, emanating from these songs. So this album is definitely a 5 out of 5 for me. So yeah, let me know what you think of the album. If you haven't checked out Black Country Communion, I definitely suggest doing it. And um, anything else that Glenn Hughes has been a part of, because it's all great. Like I said, California Breed was great. His last solo album, Resonate, was great. It came out last year. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Plenty of other videos on the way. Plenty of them are up now. So uh, watch more of them. <laughs>